Today I'm reviewing this emerald green case for the Kindle Scribe by Kobach. And what you can see really quickly here, when this arrives, it's just in a plastic bag. Uh, the item itself is about a little under eight and a half inches wide by a little over nine inches in the other dimension. And the thickness is kind of negligible, maybe half inch thick. And we're going to go ahead and remove it from the case. Go ahead and do that right now. And the feel of this feels, um, it's fairly smooth. It feels reasonably, like there's a reasonable amount of quality here. Um, opening it up all the way. Uh, placeholder for your scribes, just a little piece of foam. Get that out of the way. And over here we can see there's an elastic strap. And over here is what would be the stand which has like a piece of ribbon here to hold it from coming all the way out. Uh, it does appear to be a little bit of a magnet embedded into the fabric. And that is, it stays closed in there fairly well. And I see something here, a uh, little piece of black felt kind of slid off where it's supposed to be covering this hole. Not a big deal. And there seems to be a magnet lock here. It holds closed reasonably well. Uh, the interior here appears to be like a black plastic, and I'm thinking that the pen itself is going to probably go here on the right-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Kindle Scribe now. Uh, as you can see on my Scribe, I've got a different case. It's a clear one. I'm going to pop out my pen, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop out my Scribe. And we want to make sure that this is going to fit into the case. Just give me one more moment here. And if we take the scribe, we slide it into the case. And there is going to be a right way to go. There's an opening here for your USB charge and access to that power button. And it just kind of snaps in here more or less. And the pen itself, I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there. It feels like there's a magnetic lock for the pen. I like that. Mag lock on the pen. Uh, the scribe itself kind of slides in here. And now we're going to go ahead and just close the lid. See how well this stays closed. I'm lightly shaking it. The magnets are holding it shut. Gives some protection to your screen. And when I open this, the, I suppose you call them Hall Effect sensors here, are going to realize that these magnets have left and it knows you want to unlock it. And if you unlock it, I'm actually going to go ahead and relock this. Let me just press that power button, turn this off. And if we flip it over, the magnets seem to still hold. And we can take the stand and we can put it up and reading a book in a portrait fashion. Uh, looks to be fairly comfortable. It's a good angle for me sitting down. So I like the way this looks. It seems to function fairly well. Uh, the elastic band here, I'm not 100% sure why you'd need this. And maybe you're putting your hand in here to hold the the Kindle. I'm not fully sure I understand why the elastic straps here. I'll play with this for a little bit, see how it fits in my life. Maybe I'll come into an intuitive understanding for this. Uh, there is a slot here where if you felt like putting a card or an ID, you could slide it in there. That's not something I'm going to do, uh, but it is an option there. So it seems like there's a nice little stand here. It's handy. The magnets for the scribe pen are holding really well. You have the magnets on the case, which it'll actually uh, have your Kindle sense those. So when you close or when you open up a closed case, it's going to automatically start that unlock process for you. So you don't have to go ahead and hit the button. And the case does give you easy access to your charge port and the power button. I'll have to live with this for a few days, see how I like it before I can give this a rating. But everything's looking fairly positive at this point. A little bit of a logo here. It's not obnoxious or anything. It's just down in the corner. It looks pretty nice. We'll come back after we live with this for a bit and give a rating. And now that I've lived with this case for a few days, uh, I do like it quite a bit. Some of the things that I don't like as much. So I'm going to kind of hold it here on the edge. Um, the magnets hold fairly well as you can see but 
you kind of do it just night a little bit it can it can make it release not that big a deal um, another thing I found is you almost have to keep this ribbon stored this way which probably isn't great great just to make it easy to pop the kickstand like so when it's underneath yeah, it can be kind of tough to open or you got to pull on this and it's probably not going to last too long so I would definitely recommend having the ribbon on the outside here and another thing I've noticed is sometimes when I'm holding this it'll just the way I hold that I'm holding it on the end it sometimes wants to have the Kindle kind of pop out you can see it opened a little there so I'm holding it and just bouncing it a little bit makes the Kindle kind of decide to come out a little bit I have not had my Kindle fall out completely and this can be mitigated fairly easily just maybe hold it here not just on the edge of the plastic and you're not going to have that problem and again if you're using it with the stand seems to work fairly nice to sit here and read the book uh, the way it holds the pen is also fairly nice you can kind of push your finger in and then you slide it out with your thumb the main shortcoming I see here is just how sometimes they this kind of pops out. I wish there was some sort of a lip kind of over top of the edge of the Kindle. I know that would probably hurt the aesthetic a little bit, but it would be much more secure if it was gripping the front of the Kindle versus just the side. I'm going to just remove one star for that. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this Kindle Scribe case four out of five stars.